You're watching First at Four. It's a matter of facts. Welcome back to First at Four. Let's talk some Friday Night Fever. Dominance by Saguaro, Centennial, and Chandler in high school football has led to the creation of the Open Division Playoffs, which kicks off tonight. Yeah, this is the best time of year. It really is. Those schools are among the top eight teams in the state that will kick off an elite tournament to see who is the best of the best. Team 12's Bruce Cooper begins our coverage. Okay, speaking of football, one of the most controversial names in sports could be headed back into the game. The NFL says at least 11 teams, including the Arizona Cardinals, have committed to attending Colin Kaepernick's audition in Atlanta this weekend. Yeah, Kaepernick hasn't played since 2016 with the San Francisco 49ers. He helped start a wave of protests about social and racial injustice that season by kneeling during the national anthem at games. Team 12's Ryan Cody has this social segment on the upcoming audition. You could argue the same reason this story is blowing up on our Facebook page is the reason why Colin Kaepernick does not have an NFL job to begin with. Just hearing his name is enough to trigger opinions from both sides of the issue. Remember, Colin Kaepernick led the movement for NFL players to kneel during the national anthem in 2016. Cardinals to go ahead and sign Kaepernick. Gosh, there's so many PC names yeah, here. Yeah, I would say because he's not a real accurate passer, no, and we have a wide open offense. I mean, he's good enough to play in the NFL, but he comes with a ton of baggage that a lot of folks don't want. Well, I was going to say, not just for the Cardinals, but for so many of the Ex NFL exactly, teams. Exactly, so they just don't want the baggage. Okay, let's talk about something yeah. we can all agree on. <laughs> yes. A beautiful day on this happy Friday. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. We made it, guys. We yeah. finally crawled to Friday. We crawled and we're, we have the finish line yeah. in yeah. sight. We have, we have a good weekend. We were talking off camera, but we do have some rain in the long-term forecast. It's, it's yeah, so it's needed. It's so be cold. Much needed rain. Yeah, yeah temperatures yeah. are going to fall into the 60s. So enjoy the 80s right, while we have them this weekend. <laughs> Despite the few clouds out there, yes, savor them, as Tram said. We're at 83 degrees currently in Phoenix, and temperatures will be very similar to like the, what you're seeing here. All to first and four. Several weeks ago, Chance the Rapper did double duty as host and musical guest on SNL. This week, another very famous host will be doing both as well. Um, I. I don't know if I'd really thought about it. I mean, it's always fun to be in the sketches and stuff, so, um, and it looks fun, you know, whenever I've been here and kind of watched people do it, it's, it was pretty hectic and it looks like a lot of fun, so, um, yeah, I, I think I'd always thought I'd like to do it at some point, so very excited to be here doing it. I just like his accent. I, and I like his hair. I always get so jealous when I see those locks. Oh, I wish I had yeah. that much. Well, anyway, singer <laughs> Harry Styles, formerly of One Direction, will be making his hosting debut. Fans of the singer started lining up days ago outside of 30 Rock, trying to get those tickets for the show. Well, next week, SNL alum Will Ferrell oh. is returning to host the show for the fifth time. I can't wait for that. That That's should be gonna great. Be good. Yeah. Maybe he'll do an Elf reprisal. Yeah, if he can do an Anchorman set, oh, that'd be great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Taylor Swift says she won't be able to perform any of her old old songs at the American Music Awards and they can't be used in her new Netflix documentary. Yes, yeah, Swift revealed the news on Twitter on Thursday, hoping for support from fans and other artists. She's been pretty open about her frustration with a music manager named Scooter Braun, who took control of some of her early music after he bought out her old label and he is vetoing those songs from being performed. So yeah, that's a, that's an interesting point. A lot of times you'll go to concerts, and the reason why some of the artists can't perform because they oh, they yeah. don't own the songs. So there you go. Well, first at four, we want to send two lucky viewers to see Cirque Dreams Holidays when the acrobats swing into town. The show is coming to Comerica Theater in December. Right now, the 12th caller will win those tickets. Call this number, 602-260-1000. We'll announce the winner coming up on First at 4.30. So clear answers tonight in the investigation into a shooting at a high school in Southern California that left two students dead. Team 12's Jennifer Bjorklund has the latest from Santa Clarita, California. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Well, let's get back to today's 12 News Bullhorn question. We were talking about the violence during the Browns Steelers game last night. Should athletes be criminally charged for attacks on the field? Yes or no? And you can see the results on your screen. 87% of you are saying yes. Right now, only 13% say no. You can continue to vote 
at 12news.com slash bullhorn. But really, it is an interesting question because in some senses, a lot of times we condone fighting at hockey right. games, football games. All of it. So baseball. Baseball brawls. Yeah. So and, and we sit back and we, and we clap. So yeah. it's a, a really good question. So please weigh in. Okay, great story here. A Valley comedian continues to make people laugh even after going through one of the most physically and emotionally trying times of her life, a battle with lung cancer. Now, if you'll remember, we first brought you her story earlier this year, and since November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, Mark Curtis recently caught up with her to see how she was doing, and now she's taking her message of hope and positivity to others. For years, diva Danielle Williams has been lifting spirits through her comedy. I got wigs in my trunk, for special occasions. But she remembers... You would never think that she's battling such a serious disease. I mean, and she's singing, and she's yeah, making people that, laugh. There's I that mean, body so mind great. connection. I, I recently put together a documentary on a gentleman who survived stage four pancreatic cancer, wow. and he was so positive and yeah. just... And that's a really such serious upbeat, cancer. Yeah, and, and he beat it. He just went into remission and, mm -hmm. and out of the hospital, but it's it's such that mind-body connection. Yeah. Well, Danielle will still get chemo treatments through the end of the year. And on Saturday, the American Lung Association is holding a fundraiser. Uh, it's the Lung Force Walk at Arizona Falls, so please attend if you can. Well, let's get back to our juicy question of the afternoon. Roughly a quarter of us, 24% of us, say this is actually a stressful way to celebrate the holidays. I think you were spot on when you when celebrated at somebody at else's home. home. You, yes. just, you just don't get comfortable enough. That's why my husband refuses. At least now <laughs> while the kids are young, he always wants to have Christmas yeah. at our home. With the tree, everything, a, opening the presents, all I think of that's it. a great idea. Because yeah. then you're relaxed, having fun. All right, we'll have the answer for you in just a few minutes. And a big congratulations to Victoria of Phoenix. She won those tickets to Cirque Dreams Holiday. So have a great time. Lucky. Yeah, we'll still had a breakthrough procedure that saved the life of a two-year-old. Plus, how many of us pay for those gym memberships, but you hardly even go, especially in the winter months. There is a different way to still get that workout in. Find out how next. Yeah, that would be me. Yeah. <laughs> and why Dollar Tree has been given a warning from the FDA and what you want to pay attention to if you shop here. 